I understand that you have one, one of the premier historical uh, events that go on here. What is that about? We do. The Bay City hosts the River of Time every year. It is phenomenal. Anybody that loves historic, historical things will want to come to this, and it's free. Um, you will start off with the, at the southernmost part of the parks in Bay City with the Indians, and you go up to Revolutionary War, Civil War, uh, World War I, World War II, and you see different aspects of history throughout many, many years. You might find 17th, 18th century Scottish families. They make their food the way that they did, and you can sample it. They will have soaps, baskets, things for sale, everything with that time period that they are reenacting. Okay, it sounds like a lot of fun. I know uh, myself, I like to get out there and, and kind of look back at my mm -hmm. own history. Let's give them a better look and take them there. Okay. The annual River of Time Living History Encampment is held on the banks of the Saginaw River in Bay City's Veterans Memorial Park. The unique timeline event flows from the days of Native Americans at the south end of the river, concluding with World War II at the north end. The annual free educational event is held the last weekend in September. We met up with Scott Marble, president of the Michigan Highlanders, a bagpipe and drum band. They are one of the reenactment groups who have been accepted to perform at the festival sharing their Scottish heritage and the life of the Scotsman's family in the 1800s in Bay City. We were fortunate enough to share a delicious chicken soup and cinnamon apple dessert they prepared over the campfire. We got involved in it. We applied to be here. We had to demonstrate you know, what we do, how we are correct with the period we are. So they did inspect do we have the right kind of clothing? Are we playing the right kind of instruments? Do we know about the period of time in which we want to portray? And all of the groups do that, so it's by invitation, because there are literally, what, hundreds of reenactment groups around the state, yeah. and not everyone comes here. Um, there are some folks that you know, are, are not ready to come here based on the development of their group. If you want to get involved, you know, for example, our group, we teach the drums and the bagpipes free, um, people who like to get involved in this, if, if you want a good time, it's a place to go, so I would do it. Thanks to Scott and the Highlanders for sharing their experience and dinner with us. Food vendors are set up just south of the Myers Log Cabin, offering baked goods and candies, and there are vendors selling their wares and outdoor settlers where they offer iron tools, baskets, soap, and handmade trinkets. Each year there are new activities to explore and participate in. This has become a multi-generational event, so parents, grandparents, and children succumb early, stay late, and relive the past along with the volunteer reenactors.